Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a farm located in southwest Indiana. When I was filming the corn planting on this farm, it took me back to my childhood growing up in the 1980s, where you'd see a variety of tractors from different eras all working together, the 1960s, the 1970s, and 1980s. We'll see a variety of classic Case IH branded tractors in this video, including the farm's corn planting tractor, an International 1086, their 5288 International with a field cultivator, and a Case 800 tractor with a cultimulture. But first, we'll start out with the farm's primary tillage in the fall. Seedbed preparation on this farm begins in the fall with primary tillage. The farm utilizes their Steiger Wildcat 3 ST210 articulated four-wheel drive tractor equipped with a three-point mounted Great Plains 1300 subsoiler. This primary tillage tool is equipped with five shanks that work 12 inches in the ground. This implement breaks up compaction and raises the soil profile while leaving the surface of the field virtually undisturbed. By leaving the soybean residue in place, this helps fight erosion, while the shanks break up the compaction left from tractor traffic and the combine during harvest. This will help the corn plants that are planted in the following spring to grow their roots deep and reach a maximum yield by soaking up the most nutrients and water during the growing season. This Steiger Wildcat 3 was manufactured in Fargo, North Dakota from 1976 through 1980. It's powered by a Caterpillar 3208 V8 engine and is rated at 210 engine horsepower. Following the primary tillage pass in the fall, the farm makes a secondary tillage pass in the spring with an international 5288 tractor and 33 foot wide Krauss field cultivator. The field cultivator helps work up the seed bed and smooth it out, knocking out the ridges left by the subsoiler. And it also helps knock out weeds and grasses that have sprouted in the spring. And it warms the soil ahead of the corn planter, putting seeds in the ground. The 5288 was manufactured in Rock Island, Illinois at the International Farmall Works from 1981 through 1985. It's powered by an International DT-466B six-cylinder diesel engine rated at 160 PTO horsepower.
Following the field cultivator pass, the farm relies on their Case 800 tractor and 12-foot wide cultimulcher to further smooth and firm up the seed bed. The cultimulcher is equipped with two sets of rollers with spring tines set in the middle. The roller in the front helps crush and break up any clods of earth. The spring tines help fracture those clods and work up the soil a little bit more. And then the back roller firms up the seed bed just ahead of the planter. The Case 800 tractor was manufactured in Racine, Wisconsin from 1958 through 1960. The tractor working in this video is actually an 811B. That means it's a row crop tractor equipped with a Case 251 cubic inch gasoline engine rated at 55 PTO horsepower. With the seedbed prepared, the farm uses their International 1086 tractor with a 30-foot wide Kinsey 2300-1223 split row planter. This is a multifaceted planter because it can plant 12 rows of 30-inch spaced corn or 23 rows of 15-inch spaced soybeans. It can be utilized for the entire spring planting season, putting both the corn and soybean crops in the ground on this farm. The International 1086 was manufactured at the International Harvester Farmer Works located in Rock Island, Illinois from 1976 through 1981. The tractor is powered by an International DT414 six-cylinder diesel engine rated at 130 PTO horsepower. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field hearing and seeing these classic Case IH historic brand tractors at work on planting corn. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video about the tractors and implements that you use for spring planting on your farm. Tell me about the tractors, implements, and crops that you're raising. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional corn planting content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to two more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching. 